Hi, it's Megan. I am back on Box, but Box had this offer where if you reviewed their boxes, you would get them free. And the best thing about that offer was that you didn't have to review them positively or favorably. And I only say that not because I don't like the box I have. I actually do like the box I have. But I get offers sometimes to do reviews. And sometimes you kind of get the feeling that if you take the free product, you have to give a good review. And I've always said, because I started out first as a book blogger, I've always said to the publishers and now the beauty companies that if I like it, I'll do a review. If not, I'm not promising. And I really like it when a brand just says, you know what, just do the review. So I want to say it's nice to be given the offer to get a box, do a review, whether you, you know, if you like it, and then they'll compensate you for the box. We'll see if they compensate for me for the box, but I think they will. So thank you, Mima Box. So this box I did not pay for, but I still... I like it and I actually really genuinely like it. So this is the Special 57 for dry and sensitive skin and I had kind of looked at this box when it was first available on the site and had thought about getting it but I didn't get it so I was kind of thrilled to get a chance to try it. I do want to say one thing, when, when I was in Korea I learned that dry skin and sensitive skin are not the same. Sensitive skin isn't just even what I thought here in the United States which is kind of skin that has an issue with artificial ingredients or a lot of product or whatever else. Sensitive skin sometimes in Korea, from what I learned, can also include skin that just breaks out, which actually makes sense, right? Your skin can be sensitive and responds to things in all different ways. It could be rashes, it could be redness, chafing, it could be breaking out. So I don't have sensitive skin, honestly. I just can't handle fruit acids at all. But I do have dry skin, so I was pretty excited for this. So you get... Is it all full-size products? I think you get all full-size products. Yes. And you get six of them. So I'll start with the first. This is Zymon Trouble Skin Handmade Soap. And this is super pretty. This is what it looks like. And, you see there are two parts. And the two parts are different. So this, they say, a handmade facial soap for troubled sensitive skin types. Blend of tea tree oil, lavender oil, and manuka honey helps treat blemishes and bring back the skin's natural glow from within. The opaque part of the soap targets redness and irritated spots on the skin, while the middle translucent part of the soap deeply moisturizes and soothes the easily dehydrated and sensitive skin. Okay, so to this brand and to Mimi Mox, I'm going to give a big heads up or such an idiot, a big, I don't know, thumbs up, just because for some reason a lot of skincare products are put into the acne zone or the dry skin zone, and they don't take into account that skins can sometimes be both, and this product actually does that. So I really like the soap. First of all, I've tried it. Everything in this box I've tried, and I really liked it a lot. Um, it did a great job with my skin, but I also feel like this soap it kind of handles that hard to find zone for people who just have kind of mixture or combination skin and don't want just an acne related or a dry skin related product. So I think that one, it's not kind of the ideal product for me because I don't have troubled skin, but I think it's a great product. Number two, the Yeon Jeju Hellebong Energy Mild All in One Serum. The Young's, I can't pronounce it, Yeon. Jeju Hello Long Serum, or series, boosts its organic formula made from the Hellebong, which is a special type of orange cultivated only in the Jeju Island and best loved for bursting with vitamin C and super sweet and tasty juiciness. Infused with other Jeju-born organic ingredients such as, ah, kiwi, broccoli, and aloe vera, the energy Mild All-in-One Serum works to replenish, soften, and protect the skin. So, that is this one right here. And, okay, again, we're getting a product that I'm always going to advocate for. I like vitamin C. It kind of clears up your skin. It gets rid of some of the aging sunspots and all that. But, I also have a soft spot for Jeju Island products. I don't know. I just like the concept of it. I might be wrong about the fact that they're higher quality, but I like the fact that there's a lot of natural ingredients. So this is the serum. 
and it just it's you can't see it it's pretty much sheer but it just very very easily blends into your skin and I find good serums I don't know not a dime a dozen so I actually really love this product I've been using this for the past couple days and I do like it number three Petasun Nutritive Infusion Cream. A body cream carefully formulated for sensitive and dry skin containing 0% preservatives, natural lipids, non cosmogenic I can't pronounce it, ingredients, and two action hydration layers. The advanced combination of moisturizing agents Penetrate deep into skin to deliver instant moisture resurge and restore comfort and suppleness. Its gentle, lightweight texture also leaves your skin feeling soft and well nourished. And by the way, this is one of those great new box cards with the product on it. My light is kind of dim, so I'm having a hard time reading it, which was really not wise. But So, this is the creams, full size again. And so we're talking about fixing your skin not just on your face but also on your body and again this is just in a really lightweight easy to blending cream so I'm happy with this I like the fact I don't know the body stuff I always think is going to be cheaper but I just like the fact that they mixed in a little bit having to do with the body it makes it a more I don't know interesting box the next one is Anakis Triative Dermatitis Intensive Cream that's quite a name and I'm going to skip the price points on these because, as I've said in a lot of Mimi Box videos, I don't agree with a lot of their prices, but a lot of the products are just not available here in the United States. And most Mimi Boxes, not all, but most, have been great values where you're getting kind of a discount off the full value of the product. So this essential soothing cream suits even the most irritated and reactive complexions, gentle enough for women in pregnancy and even babies, this cream helps to relieve dryness and maintains the skin natural moisture balance. It's infused with 27 natural extracts. Ooh, this is where it gets good. Green tea, mandarin, walnut, squalene, and much more. This ultra gentle soothing cream contains effective comforting properties to especially benefit traumatized, allergy prone, thin, sun aging, sun sensitive, tight, and dehydrated skin. It has structurine peptides in the formula that work to strengthen the cell's walls and forms a protective veil of the skin to prevent damage from external elements. So basically it's trapping in moisture and keeping free radicals and all those bad things out. This is little, but I really like the texture of this one as well. So it's a little cream. It looks like this. Still full size, but it's just little. And you get just a very lightweight. You can't even see it. It's so sheer and so lightweight you can't even see it on my wrist. So overall, so far, all the products we've talked about, the creams have been, the serums have been lightweight and very easily absorbed. This is not one of those boxes when they're dealing with sensitive skin, which is putting on kind of a lot of heavy moisture. This is putting on kind of light layering textures of things that have essential ingredients that will help but not kind of irritate the skin. Okay, the next one, Mika Bee Botanical Moisture Mist. This botanical mist formulated from natural herbal ingredients such as aloe vera, Rabena red ginseng and camellia oil. Its general formula is fast absorbing and works to regenerate and de-stress dry, tired skin. Okay, I have messed up this product every single time practically I've used it. So this is what it looks like and you're supposed to put it on your body. And I'm so used to these little sprays that you put on your face, I keep putting it on my face and my face hasn't gotten irritated. But this is not for your face, this is for your body. So this is an unusual product that I haven't, I haven't seen in a Mimi box. Yeah, which is putting something for spraying on your body in the box. So that's kind of a nice change. The last one, honestly, I mean, there are some really great products in here. I like the anything Jeju. I, I, I like everything, but the, one, the next one is the one that gets me most excited. Pure Plus Lip Treatment. These are not the most expensive Mimi Box products. They say they retail for $9.00. But these are lip balms. Multi-concentrated collagen delivers rich nourishment and a lasting suppleness to dry chap lips. It also contains various nutrients such as snail mucus extract, shea butter, grape seed oil, hyaluric acid, and vitamin E to protect lips from future hydration and dry and damage. Okay, so yeah, putting snail mucus on my lips. Okay, there is the gross element to that. There really seriously is. So in this box, you get either the strawberry or the honey. 
and I got the strawberry. But Mimi Box has put this particular item in a bunch of different boxes. So I already have the milk, which is actually my favorite. It smells exactly like sweetened condensed milk, the honey, and now the strawberry. So is it worth having three of the same lip balm? Yeah, actually, this is probably one of my favorite Mimi Box items ever. And it has a slight tingling when you first put it on the lips, but I just love this lip balm. So, and let me show it to you. It's very, again, these are all just sheer light formulas, which is kind of sometimes what's fun about Korean beauty products. You're not getting that kind of heavy, it does feel like a lip balm, so it's a little bit thicker than the other products, but it's still a lighter lip balm. So I love this. So overall, for me, this is a very, very nice, wonderful box. I really like it. And I think if I had even more sensitive skin, I'd probably like it even more. The fact that I have dry skin makes this just totally work for me. So anyway, that's it. If you have comments, suggestions, thoughts, please let me know. And if you have other Mimi boxes, I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you, and please subscribe on YouTube.